Welcome, one and all, to Let's Play some Final Fantasy V! Oh hell yes, you have no idea how excited I am to finally start this! Now, right off the bat, um, this is a sort of blind LP. Um, I do know more about this game than I did about Final Fantasy IV, and I have done some minor research, some of which I have somewhat forgotten and whatnot, so... I mean, I do know the basic premise is, you know, like Hobo and a Chocobo versus Evil Tree. I have played Dissidia in all of its incarnations and all that, so I do know some plot spoilers from that as well. But, as I'm playing through this, I would like to ask everybody to refrain from posting any plot spoilers whatsoever. Even if you think I may, even if I hint that I already know what's going on, which may or may not be the case in some instances, don't post anything. If you see any, any post any spot spoilers, do not draw attention to it by replying to it. Just simply mark it as spam, and I will not read it until after the LP is done. Then I may go back and look at it. But any comments marked by spam, I will not look at. So that's the best way to hide any plot spoilers for those delinquents out there who like to spoil the fun. But anyway, really looking forward to this. I know the game is obviously not as plot heavy. As, uh, say, Final Fantasy IV, and it's more gameplay-oriented, which I was gonna take some adjusting to, because I'm... This is the first Final Fantasy game I've played where you have a class and ability system that... And that much freedom, so you're probably gonna see a bit of fumbling there, but... I'll try to get my way through it. That, you are more than welcome to help with and everything like that. So without further ado, let's start a new game. I messed around with this for like just 10 minutes just to make sure the game was working fine and everything like that. I do know this fade-in takes forever. I do like the music, however, though. Got a pretty, pretty castle here. And I love this right here. What's up, dude? What's going on? Hello, Mr. and or Mrs. Dragon. How are you doing? You are adorable. Now, you're all gonna kill me for this. And I hate that this, uh, this dialogue goes automatically. And I can control it. This chick is pinky. That's gonna be her name. And before any of you get all your panties in a bunch about, oh my god, it's another My Little Pony reference. First and foremost, it is not intended to be initially a My Little Pony reference. Number one, chick's got pink hair. Enough said. Number two, uh, her portrait, which is blonde, um, actually reminds me of an acquaintance I have, uh, well, still have, sort of, um, of a girl I, knew, I met in high school um, whose nickname happens to be Pinky. Uh, not sure how she got that name or when she got that nickname, but it was one of the nicknames she had in high school, so she very much reminds me of her, and just for, for reference, that real life person I'm referring to is actually a Marine, so she kicks ass, so why not have her XP in a video game, sort of, not really, but kind of, whatever. Look at that hammer here dramatically blowing in the wind. Yeah. Oh no! What's wrong, Ferris Bueller? Hello, sir. How are you doing? Uh, I'm not sure the significance of this glowy warp thingy. That's what I assume it is. I don't know. I assume I'm probably going to find out eventually. Oh no! Thank God for that, otherwise it just might blow me off this parapet of the castle tumbling to my doom! But heaven forbid, because I'm a video game character and I can survive heights of infinite... Yeah. What? What's going on? No! Somebody broke! 
Look, the shiny! No! What's up, man? A boy in his trusty chocobo! Are you just standing here? Is he cooking something, or is he warming his hands to the fire? I don't know. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's going on, man? Ah, crap. Look at those Mode 7 graphics. Oh, yeah. And I don't even get an explosion with that. Yes, let's jump on the bird first, then put out the fire. Good job, good job. It's right on our trusty little steed here. And that uh, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, I know where we're supposed to go, but I just feel like wandering because riding on a chocobo is fun. Oh look, there's something in the way. Oh, meteorite, sorry, I missed that. Now, I'm going to be humping walls like crazy so I can look for secret passages and stuff. Okay. Apparently my steed understands English. So where are we off to, Seymour? Yes, that is going to be your name. Because I'm sure everybody who knows his, Engl his Japanese game knows what kind of lame-ass joke that is. And ha, I just did it again. Pinky? What are you doing here, Pinky? Yeah, I'm very disappointed that there's no auto battle here <laughs> because I abused the crap out of that in four. <laughs> so let's slaughter some goblins who don't appear to be wearing any pants. Or at least that's the impression I'm getting. Hey, Pinky, you okay, girl? Yep, I'm fine. Yes, Doofus, you have a name. And we're just gonna keep it his uh, default name. Number one, because it's a character limit, and number two, well, everyone else is in dialogue going to be referred to as their, well, going to be listed as their proper names. So. But of course, that's not what I'm going to call him off. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty huge damn meteorite that didn't cause more collateral damage than this. You're lucky you were alive, girl. But then again, video game character, yeah. Well, isn't she so polite? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think that's appropriate, girl. <laughs> nope, I didn't hear a damn thing. Oh, sorry, skip that too fast. Over here! Apparently we're all deaf and we can't understand where our voice is coming from. But first, wall humping. Oh, I see treasure chest. I see treasure chest. Can I get over there? Yeah! Ooh, Phoenix down. Awesome! Are there any other hidden passages over here? I'm telling you, I'm going through lots of wall humping in this game. Anything down here? Or just the thick blackness of... I'm not gonna use the V word. Not yet. Not yet. Look at this huge hunk of rock! Um, sir? Do we need to call a medic? Sir? Well, at least he's alive! Thank God for that! Look at, he's A-OK! -okay. Well, you were almost hit by a freaking meteorite, you know, that's not exactly unusual. Are we, are we sure he should be standing? You know, he might have a broken neck or something. 
no, 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 no. You came here on a meteorite, or was hit by it, or something. I have no idea. However, your name is now eternally Gary Stu. Sorry, had to do it. <laughs> Yeah, where are we going? Well, isn't that convenient? Yeah, do you think we're gonna let a young chick travel around by herself? Yeah, see? Gary Stu is a gentleman. Okay, let's all go together. Boys. Piggy? What's going on, Piggy? Well, you just totally screwed that one up. Hot chicken all. Shame on you, Bart. Seymour. Whatever I am going to call you. Any secret passages up here, around the other side. Must wall hump. That almost looks like there's like a doorway in there. And we can't go to the other side. I love how the bushes are actually covering the top of it. I would think it would like destroy a lot of things. Actually, where did I come from? Over here, I think. There we go. Thank you for your patience, my trusty steed. You're so cool. Oh yeah, Edward hump this wall. Let's go! I go back to the forest? Go back to my campfire? No. No? Okay, where am I supposed to go? Is there gonna be like a convenient passage here or something? Yes, there is! Haha, <laughs> he fell on his bum. Did you see that? What are you doing? Oh, he even gets his own portrait. That is cute. A cute girl. Seymour, are we forgetting who's supposed to be the giant chicken around here? Yeah, that's what I thought. And before anybody gets all my their panties in a bunch again, yes, I know a chocobo is not technically a chicken. However, it is fun calling them that. So, therefore, I am going to put some pants on, ya perverts. I mean, you're wearing a hat and shoes. But you're not wearing any pants. That's counterproductive if you ask me. Hooray! I leveled up. Isn't that so awesome? Am I gonna fight anything other than goblins in this episode? <laughs> well, I don't even get to see my max HP. That's kind of crappy. See, my trusty steed is so awesome, he can carry three people at once. Oh, yes. And why am I up here and they're down there? Am I playing scout or something? How did I even get up there? Hey, babe, what's up? What's going on? See, I'm a nice guy. Oh. Um, assuming I know where the hell or what the hell that is, I'm assuming that's the nearest starting town or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, let, let, let's just forget about Gary Stu over there. Yeah, because that wasn't obvious from like the first time, the first thing time we said anything to him. Hooray! Seymour's gonna be the hero now. Ha! Ha! I get it! Ha 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 ha! Busted! I thought I could blame you, but... But I have a trusty chocobo! You saw him leap over large gaps. He's awesome. He'll take us anywhere. He's my buddy. Yeah! Group hug? Alright! Yep, can't forget our trusty steed friend. He wants to help too. That is awesome. Whee! Oh, look, a convenient path is opened over here. Controller? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is a plot convenient thing. Yeah, just opened up, meaning it could collapse any second. Are we sure this is a good idea to go in here? What, what, what? I'm like 10 minutes into the game and I get to leave my, I have to leave my trusty steed behind? Farewell, old buddy. I'll come back someday. Someday. What should be like, you know, the actual Seymour from, you know, which I... Yeah, that Futurama joke. You know, Seymour the Doug. He's gonna wait for us until his dying day. And Gary Stu just punches things to death. You know, I should probably like, check, well, there's no point in like checking my equipment because I haven't found anything <laughs> yet, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. You people don't even cheer and sink. Actually, what do I, yeah. Oh, I get potions, okay. And I even get to sort my rare items. Do I actually get to look at this? Uh, what significance does this have? And what significance does this have? I'm guessing there's some gonna be some kind of plot convenience thing later on. I don't see any spring, Seymour! Crabs. I'm feeling kind of crabby right now. Punch the steel bats? Are, are, are they seriously made of steel? Are they like Batman or something? Is that this is like the low child of like Batman and Superman? Well, these severely mutated love. You know what I mean! And a bunch of us level up. That's pretty sweet. So what is... Oh! Cool. It's like a Healy Pot. Only we get to go swimming in it. That's pretty damn cool. Seymour levels up again. Treasure! I want... I probably have to go around though. Looks like there's a cliff there. It looks like I can hump this wall. But apparently I can't. Okay, these are funny looking things. Are they like... Creatures or are they like plant... They're like half goblin, half like... Venus flytrap e thing. Sort of. I don't know. <laughs> I just need to talk about something! Notice I don't have any MP yet. Probably because of my class doesn't allow for MP yet, so it's just not listing it. Gee, that doesn't look like a secret passage. He's going to press a button and reveal it all. Of course not. Dude, we didn't even know that wall was there 30 seconds ago. Oh well. 
Ooh, a hat. Who can wear the hat? Should we give the lady the hat? Let's give the lady the hat. And Picky and Gary Stu level up again. What levels am I? Like, what level do I start at? Okay, presumably I start at level one. That's kind of lame, but... Well... Oh, crap. Now one thing... Yeah, I just totally forgot what I was going to say. No, oh, I only change one row at a time. That's kind of ballsy. Yeah, I found out... Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. That it's, you know, yeah, hit left to do one command and right to do the other command. I found that out awkwardly, and I'm like, that's kind of awkward. I don't know why they did it that way. But at least... Uh, on one hand, I can, you know, that I can change rows individually. It's kind of a little bit better than four that way because, like, if you guys remember when I first did four, I'm like, how the hell do I change my rows? Because the instruction booklet doesn't mention anything about the whole stagger format where you have to have, you know, three in the front or two in the back and vice versa, and you can't have any other combination. Yeah, the, in the instruction booklet mentions nothing about that which baffled the crap out of me. But at least here, I can put everyone in whatever row I want. I guess they don't have ship engines in this world like they have in 4. But that does raise a puzzling question. How is that ship moving? Well, maybe if it was moving before the wind stopped, and there's nothing to hold it back, you know... Uh, Newton's first law, maybe? I don't know. I wouldn't think water has that much friction for a sailing ship, does it? Or resistance or whatever? Gee, I wonder if this is a pirate hideout! E.B. born, darg! Checking if the coast is clear. Oh no! <laughs> yes, because that's the sort of thing pirates do. <laughs> yeah, in more ways than one. Huh, huh, huh. That sounds kind of an equally bad idea, but again, it's crazy enough to actually work. I mean, it's better than standing here and doing nothing. Oh, I see a switch! No idea what the hell that did, but I'm sure it did something. Hello, Mr. Pirate, sir. I'm gonna wake your ass up, because you're clearly sleeping. Loser. What? Uh-oh. Trouble. Didn't wake him up, did we? Then again, we were probably stupid for talking to him in the first place. But we're video game characters. Even if they threw us in the brig, we'd find our way out. Can, can I jump in the, the, the water? Or, no, I just gotta walk in the dock. That water has a really dizzying effect. Wait, 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 wait. I'm the king of the world! And we're gonna stop right here. Why? Because, well, this video is taking too damn long. I haven't even reached a save point yet, but that's okay. Well, I could probably save you over one, but who cares? So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V, and I hope you join me next time where we're gonna meet the most awesome character in the game. Yeah, because I know that's totally know that's coming. Farewell, everyone, and I'll see you later.